The goal is to build a secure persistent tunnel from an on-premises network to an Azure virtual network. To do that, we need a VPN gateway in Azure. This is Azure's endpoint for the tunnel. Azure offers several VPN gateway SKUs. The more powerful the SKU, the more bandwidth and features you get, but also the higher the price. Some SKUs also support availability zones. And just so you know, Microsoft plans to retire the VPN GW 1 through 5 SKU in September of 2026, moving existing SKUs to their AZ equivalent. For this example, we'll use the basic VPN gateway SKU to connect a home lab to Azure. The basic SKU is budget friendly, but comes with limitations like low performance and fewer features. It's great for a lab, but definitely not recommended for production use. Another thing to keep in mind, you can't deploy the basic VPN SKU from the Azure portal. It has to be done using PowerShell or the CLI. I created a PowerShell script to handle that, and we'll go through that step-by-step -step in the demo, and the link is below.